In today's video, I'll show you how to scan a document on your HP SmartTank 580 model, uh, scanning onto the HP Smart app on a MacBook, and I'll show you as well how to save it as a PDF file onto your computer. So for this, make sure that you have your printer switched on and plugged into a power supply. Make sure you have a consistent power light here. So if it's flashing, make sure not to do anything until you see a consistent white light there. Now at this stage, you should already have your computer connected to your uh, printer. Uh, if that's not the case, feel free to check out our other video where I explain exactly how you can do that. And then you can come back here in order to see the scanning process. So you wanna wanna make sure that you have your document ready that you're gonna scan. So I have that just here on the side and I'll show you how to install that now. So the first step is to open up the scanning tray. So we'll look at the lid at the top here and we're just gonna open this to the full open position. Now you see there's a glass tray at the bottom. Just have a quick look around to make sure that there's no issues here. There's nothing uh, dirty or in the way or any uh, paper that may cause a jam or interrupt the scanning process. So this looks all clear. We can go ahead and take our document and insert it into the tray. Now make sure that you take your document and face it flat down onto the glass. Now if you put it up, then it will scan the wrong side and then you'll have a blank document on your computer. So make sure that it's put down uh, facing the glass and you also want to make sure that it's tucked into the top left corner here and uh, you even have some indentations here to help you make sure it's fitted properly so we have the a4 line there and you can see it lines up with the paper quite well and then on the other corner we have another little dent there to let us know the a4 uh, if this was to be over like this then you'd know that it's in the wrong position and it may not scan the complete document and you may have a border going around it. So make sure that it's tucked into the top left corner like so, and this should be the perfect position. And once it's like that and the paper's nice and flat, we can go ahead and close the lid. Now when you do this, you'll notice that these lights come up. Uh, this is just the printer recognizing that you're trying to scan something, but we're not gonna press any of these for now. We're gonna go straight over to the computer. So you're gonna load up your HP Smart app now this is what it should look like once you have your um, printer connected to it and it should let you know if there's any faults or errors. So at the moment it seems to be all good. And we're going to go to the print printer scan selection there, just at the bottom. And this will bring up this page. And then from here we're going to scan. And this just takes a minute or two to scan completely through. So allow it to do that and try not to uh, come out of it, otherwise it may interrupt the scanning process. And now my computer has taken a complete scan of the document. As you can see here, it's the exact same as the example I put in earlier. And now what you want to do is come over to the top right hand corner where you'll find the save icon and click on that. This will bring up another tab where you can just change the uh, file type or you can change the file size as well. But for this video, I'll just be saving it as a PDF. But this is uh, another option. You can save it as an image or a JPEG and then you have a couple of other options there. So we're just gonna select uh, PDF, back, and then continue. And then from here, of course, you can uh, label your document, whatever you need to call it, and then you can save it directly to your files on the computer. So I hope this has been useful for you. If it has, feel free to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Please do leave us some comments down below as well if you uh, have any questions or concerns, and we'll be sure to check that out. We really do appreciate hearing back from you. Uh, once again, do check out our other videos as well if you need some help setting up your new printer or if you want to know a bit more about it. My name is Pat and this is Printers with Pat. Thank you very much for watching.